Hello everyone to the first game of the first round of December's Legacy Challenge. Um, we are replaying my games with elves where I eventually managed to top 8 the Legacy Challenge and I'm just gonna provide some quick swift commentary on what happened. So in this first round we are up against uh, Grixis Diver I believe and let me see how this works. I think if I let it play out by all by itself it's too quick. Um, so yeah, we're keeping this hand, the hand looks pretty good and I'm leading with Nettle Sentinel I would think. But I guess you could make a case for Queen's Sunnet, but I really think, especially since we have the Cradle Letter, yeah, I'm leading on Nettle Sentinel. Makes a lot of sense. Get in damage early and then see where it goes. Okay, he's got Dalva. And now we're just like getting in front of the damage. I really hope you guys can't hear my mouse clicking, otherwise this would be super annoying for you. Okay, just making the best of the mana we can get. Oh, he forces this. Okay, had he not forced, I would have Green Sun Summoned it for um, uh, wish, uh, Symbiote just to keep the card advantage chain going. But he's got the force, unfortunately. And he pitches Probe, so he, he was wise enough to not like. See, if I see him pitch Probe, I think that he's very like light on blue cards, so he might not have days, even though like that's not a given, but. <laughs> It probably doesn't really matter here and doesn't really come up, but there's a chance. He he might have actually dazed in Nettle Sentinel, yeah. Actually, yeah, he would have he would have dazed the vision. Okay, so don't get caught up in this like. <laughs> anyway, this is just like for you to see how all these matches played out. Uh, if I had to do some like analysis that would probably be during the live game. So yeah, this is just another good draw. Like right now we are even racing Diver. Since the opponent didn't have a second land. Like, I think we could even, like, get away just attacking every turn. But we've got it even better. We get a Visionary. So next turn we are ready to hardcast Behemoth and make the second Force of Fill check. What I call Like, does he have the Force of Fill or does he not? And as it probably turns out, I guess he's got another Delver, Delver but he isn't going to have a Force of Fill. And we just take the game. He's got the Lightning Bolt for one of our creatures, but it doesn't really matter. And then, yeah, he takes 10, he gets one more draw step, but I think there's nothing in this main deck that could actually like help him here. And it's pretty much over. <laughs> okay, just for fun and giggles, we have a second. Actually, he could survive if he blocked with the Delver, if he didn't have the second Krater Hoof. And yeah, but even then, yeah. <laughs> Would it have mattered, let's say... Delver blocks Krater Hoof, Storm Chaser blocks a creature, he goes to 1, Storm Chaser survives, and then he's gotta deal 10 damage to us next turn, so he's got 4 guaranteed, so if he's got double Lightning Bolt, then he could do it, but yeah. I felt this game was, like, not very close. Somewhat close, like, if he really has double Lightning Bolt, and I wouldn't, like, put it beyond him to have that, since he apparently didn't have days early on, and he doesn't have a second force of it, and no, just drew the land. So there's not much else he could have, except for maybe a bunch more creatures. So, yeah. So, yeah, we take the first game. Uh, let's fire up the second game in a minute. 